skin, big banish. Today I wanted to give you guys the truth about Banish and tell you really what is going on with the company and the behind the scenes and the realities of Banish. I hadn't really made this video and I know in the past I made videos about how to use the product and more like product related things but I didn't really tell you guys my experiences being a CEO and the founder of the company. I was scared because we have a team in the double digits whose livelihoods depend on um, the company, and I didn't want to say anything that would jeopardize a company's success. You know, I'm very, very blunt. I have no filter. I'm like way too honest. I think that's like the worst thing about myself, so I would be terrible as a politician. But I was also thinking about it like, you know, Daisy, like if you're afraid to like say certain things because you don't want to offend people, look at who the president of the United States is. Like, look at him. <laughs> If the president of the United States can, you know, say whatever, there are a subset of people who still love him and like him enough to vote and have him be president. So don't be afraid to kind of just like be yourself more. I think that was like the mentality I have now. So I'm just gonna say it all. I'm gonna be honest and blunt and just say what I really think and what's really going on at Vanish. So a lot of people have been asking, um, are you guys going to launch any new products? Are you gonna make this? Are you gonna expand into that? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if you guys know much background about why I started Vanish. Banish literally started organically. It happened randomly. I was never planning to start a skincare line. I was never planning to be an entrepreneur. It just happened because my skin was so bad. I was just like, like in such desperation to find products that would work for my skin. Now, what I realized in like my YouTube channel, and I had my YouTube channel before I started Banish, and in um, looking at skincare ingredients is that the current skincare process and the current manufacturing of skincare, bunch of fillers, bunch of products that make your skin feel good but will clog up the pores, and a bunch of artificial fragrances and colors. And those products will clog the pores and create acne. And for me, it created cystic acne, which created scars. And I was just so frustrated. I would spend like $100 at a Macy's counter and whatever, and then my skin would just keep breaking out, breaking out, breaking out. And I realized it was those filler ingredients and those things that make the skin feel really good when you put it on, but it's terrible for your skin longer and that was causing my acne breaking me out. So that's why all of our products don't contain any fillers or artificial fragrances or colors. All the scents are natural. All of our colors and our products are just regular colors of the products. Like we don't have a blue serum. So when developing new products, I only want to develop products that I will actually use. So I think we've gotten requests from people saying, oh, you should develop sheet masks. Um, and stuff like that. I've gotten companies who've come to me and be like, hey, you know, we'll sell you the sheet mask. You can plot Banish's label on it and sell it and make, you know, money from it and stuff like that. But I honestly, I don't like to use sheet masks. I don't use sheet masks. It's not something that I think works for my skin because sheet masks, if you look in the ingredients, there's propylene glycol, there's dimethicone, there's um, a lot of different glycols in there and a lot of fragrances and that um, slimy feeling you feel on the sheet mask will cause me to break out. So I don't sell sheet masks because that's just simply not something that I would personally use and I don't think personally works for me. It could work for you, doesn't work for me. So we're not selling it, you know? I want every single product that Banish has to be something that I would personally use and that actually works. We've gotten other kind of masks that we could sell, like the magnetic masks, the bubble masks, different kinds of Korean skincare products. And, you know, I love Korean skincare for the fact that they feel super good and they smell amazing. Like, you can't deny the packaging, the smell of Korean skincare is amazing. But for me personally, I have broken out or I have not seen a difference when using Korean skincare. So that's just something that Banish is not gonna go into. There's really like profound, like new ingredients out there, really like chemically based products out there um, that we could sell and source and supply for you guys. But to me, it's just not something I would even use. So why bother selling it to you guys? So every single product that we have is stuff I personally use. And every single product that we have is stuff that I, I know works for a fact. For example, the vitamin C beauty elixir, I 
always use um, the Caudalie Beauty Spray, but then I realized, because I love the scent, I love the feeling, the refreshness it gave me, and I really liked it, right? And so when developing a line for Banish, I was like, I want a spray. I love sprays, I love the feeling of refreshness, whatever, I love things that are on the go, but I didn't want alcohol in the spray, and the Caudalie Beauty Elixir has a form of alcohol in there, which makes the um, spray evaporate and feel really good, but it's gonna dry our skin, so we don't have any alcohol in it. So everything that we do at Banish is some product that I would use and I believe is effective for me. Now, there are other products that we could go into that would probably be effective for other people, but it's just not something I personally would use or care to use, so that's why we don't have it and we don't source it and we don't even go into the whole of like developing a product. But I will say, I will say, we are developing something new, game-changing, revolutionary, and this has taken me almost three years. I am so impatient and I just can't believe it's taking me this long because I am so involved in every single part of the process in this new product. I have a um, designer who's working with me who you know, worked for some of the top companies like the Bose earphones and stuff like that beforehand and I am talking with the manufacturer and with the mold maker and with the designer and all this stuff and we talk several times a week and I have flown to visit them and it's taking seriously all of my time which is why I'm not on YouTube so often but I'm just so excited to launch this product and I can't really say much about it but it's really something that I would use because after trying all the stuff that Banish provides and all the other stuff out there in the market this is what I would like this is what I would like to use and I had this vision for it, kind of drew it out, had some other people give their input, had some other people draw different designs and sketches, and you know, we have gone through literally 40 or 50 prototypes and all this kind of stuff with the product, and I'm just so excited for it to come out because it's just been so long in the making, and I have so much respect for people who do custom manufacture because it is a shit ton of work. We have the best law firm behind us too in terms of intellectual property. So spent a lot of money on legal fees this year um, protecting the invention and all that. But I'm just so freaking excited about it, you guys. Like I'm so excited. And it's really truly something that I felt like was lacking in the market that I really wanted. So I'm so excited to be bringing it out to you guys. So instead of going out and trying to find like for what products are popular and launching like replicas of those products, I really wanted you know us to be innovative and to think what is what isn't out there and what can we like do to like close that gap. And I feel like Banish from the get-go has been so innovative and this is what I love about the company is like microneedling was something totally unheard of five years ago. Like nobody, nobody knew what it was. Nobody like like thought rolling something little needles on a roller would be beneficial to your skin. And because Banish and because of these YouTube videos, we were like literally the first company to sell a kit. Now everyone is like trying to replicate us, which I think is amazing because it means that people are replicating us. We're not replicating them and we're always at the forefront of something. And I'm just, I'm just so excited because our business model has never been to go out there and replicate things. It's always been to see the gaps, see what we can do better and improve consistently on everything, which is amazing. That being said, people have been asking what is the difference between your products and other brands out there or other products on Amazon, blah, 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 um, why are your products the price that they are and all that stuff. So I will say I love Amazon, you guys. I love the fact they have you know free shipping, everything comes fast. Um, and it's just super easy to get what you want at a great price. However, when I purchase on Amazon, I buy things like I buy sponges on Amazon, hair ties on Amazon, I even bought these earrings on Amazon, and they're, they look cute, but they're literally, guys, like tin, and they're gonna break any moment. So I have purchased things on Amazon, I love them, but I don't purchase name brand items on Amazon. The fact is, last time I bought like even Colgate toothbrushes, because those are my favorite, the ones with the really like, heavy bristles. I bought them on Amazon and then when I received them like a week later they were like fake Colgate uh, toothbrushes from Thailand because it had tie on it and when I brushed my teeth with them it just like completely collapsed like the bristles just like like flattened and everything and I realized it wasn't real Colgate toothbrushes. I've also purchased name brand items from Amazon and I realized they weren't 
real. Like I purchased, I think, Lululemon leggings from Amazon and I realized like for whatever reason it didn't fit the right way that my other leggings are and I returned them. So I would say on Amazon, anybody can sell anything and it's not really regulated. I've had friends who sell their own brands on Amazon who another competitor will just literally copy their logo, slap it on whatever product and put it on for sale. So Amazon is a really great place if you want cheap things fast. It's not a place I would go to buy products that you're gonna put on your skin. It's not a place I would go to buy a product that actually punctures your skin because you just don't know where they're getting the product. You don't know how they're manufacturing it. Usually what they do is they scrape the database of whatever is selling well on e-commerce and going to whatever manufacturer and just being like, replicate these. And then I'm just gonna like, drop ship it from Amazon on, or from your manufacturer onto Amazon without doing any quality control, without doing any kind of sort of checks or whatever. That being said, I can't say what they're doing. I am very, very almost happy though that there are replicas or there are people copying Vanish and they're making their own little kits because it really means that we're doing something right. Like, of course, so there's replica Gucci bags that you can buy, there's replica Rolex watches that you can buy, there's replica, even replica like Lululemon or like, I don't know, replica iPhones you can buy, right? And there's always gonna be replicas, but they copy based on the original product and the original is always better than the replica. And I think it's okay to get like non-branded items when it's something that you're not putting on your skin or in your body, but if it's something going into your body and on your skin, which is your largest organ, don't, don't, don't just go on some Amazon website. They don't regulate that stuff. We've tried also selling on Amazon and I was just so amazed how easy it was to put whatever I wanted on the listing and with no verification whatever. And it was just, I don't know, it's just crazy. And also my friends who sell on Amazon that like um, other, you know, Chinese manufacturers are copying their product and selling on them. Like they're telling Amazon like, hey, they're infringing on my trademark, they're infringing on my product name, description, whatever, and Amazon doesn't respond. Amazon doesn't take those listings down because Amazon doesn't care. These other manufacturers are making Amazon money. Why should they take off those listings? So I think Amazon is a beast. I think they're gonna be really powerful, but I think um, it's a work in progress. And I don't wanna be in this jungle and dilute Banish's brand by having other people sell on behalf of Banish or copying us on Amazon because you don't know like who is really the real brand on Amazon, that makes sense. So when you buy from our website directly on Banish.com, you know that you're getting the real product. Like if it's coming from Banish, you're going through the checkout page, your credit card statement says Banish, you know you're getting the real thing, right? On Amazon, you're not really sure. So that's why we don't sell on Amazon and that's the difference between certain products out there and our products out there. Next question, hardest part about running a business and hardest part about being CEO of Vanish? You guys, I am a control freak. I am the world's biggest control freak. Even when I was younger, my friends would tell me that and maybe that's why I like don't have too many friends and that's why when I travel, I like to travel alone because I'm like such a control freak. And well, actually the, the best part about it is that I can be as control freak as I want to be because it's like, your company, so we control literally every aspect of the company from the customer service part to um, what credit card processor we use to where we source our ferulic acid to where we source our jars to even freaking like, uh, we we have like the new Vanish oil jars. There was like a tiny little typo, like the, the period wasn't in the right spot, like the millimeter spot, because none, none of the jar, the jar didn't match up with one another. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? And I like called the factory and I called the guy who made the labels and I was like, we need to change this. And so I love that because I'm such a control freak and like everything is like so well controlled and thought of. Even how far we pour the product up to the jar and you know, even the type of gloves we buy, like it's just every little part of it I know and is controlled by me and, and I love it. I think the hard part though is realizing that other people are not as control freaks as you are and other people will let things slide and I didn't realize that other people are so lax in certain things and I think the hardest part about running a company is I would say almost being disappointed. <laughs> almost being disappointed because 
like you hire somebody and you bring them on and you really think that they're gonna be great and amazing and you train them and you onboard them and you spend a lot of money in training and developing them and then you just realize that their standard and their expectation for themselves, not only for the business but for themselves, is not what you have in mind and not your standard. To, so everybody who works at Vanish and everybody who comes into the company needs to meet a certain standard, right? Like Google, for example, it's very hard to get a job at Google because you have to meet Google's standard. And I think it was hard for me to realize that there's just people who out there who don't have high standards for themselves, which translates into having very low standards for the work they produce. So for example, our orders team, the people who make the products, you know, they come in every day, Monday through Saturday, to ship and make the products for you guys fresh. I had a few people who would constantly like, even be like five minutes late, 10 minutes late, and I would just, it made me so frustrated and angry because I was like, if you're constantly late, even if it's a few minutes late to work, what does that say about everything else you do for the company? What does that say about you know the way you're pouring the products, mixing the products, sanitizing the workstations, packaging the products? How is your accuracy in shipping the products out? You know, are you shipping the products late? Blah 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 blah. And I just I like would freak out because I'm like, if you're late to work, that means you're also X, Y, and Z in your life and in the way you are performing at work and. I would say that's the hardest part because I think you just get disappointed by people a lot and I think I just realized like there's a lot of people in this life who are not going anywhere because they just have such low expectations for everything that they do and it just sucks to have to like fire people especially in the state of California and I could do a whole nother video about that because I think the laws are not advantageous for small businesses. It's so freaking hard to be a small business and like do all these things for people. I mean, it's just hard, right? And it's harder when you want everything to be at 100% and need everything to be at 100%. But I have gone through the trials and errors. I have learned so much and that's why I was not on YouTube for a while, but I think we have really amazing people now. The way we hire and onboard is so different now. We are so big on referrals and we have a system and a way to like really figure out if someone is actually like a referral and if somebody is an actually a reference and like making sure that the person you listed as your boss is actually your boss. Like we just go through, like we like interrogate the shit out of like everybody you work for because we really want to make sure your expectation is at Vantage's expectation. I think before I was too nice and a little bit too lenient and I just hate to let people go and I, I, it's just very disappointing. That is the hardest part about my job. I would think a lot of people would say like, oh, wouldn't the hardest part be about like you can never just leave the company, like you can just never take a break, you can never take a vacation. I remember I was in New York for a few days and I wanted literally just not to do any work. I was so burnt out. And then somebody texts me like um, some issue they had and I was like, but you know what, you know what? It's, it's honestly like I actually love that. I love having something run through my veins and being so passionate and knowing every single process of it and just having this like control and this vision of what I want the company to be. This company to be great, like amazing ingredients, amazing people, like people who are just like super high standards. Why can't we have a company like that, you know, and control every aspect of it. So I actually love the ability to control things. I'm just a control freak, <laughs> which might explain my personal life, but uh, that's, that's another story for another video. Okay, any regrets in the business? <sighs> I would say the biggest regrets in the business has always been with people. You know, I can't talk too much about like who works here and all that stuff because they all sign a non-disclosure and I said, you know, I'm never gonna like lambast like somebody who's worked here or you know who, who was like terminated or whatever. I would just say the hardest part is giving people too much of a chance, I think, and feeling like, and like picking up people's work for them. So I feel like, you know, sometimes I get it, extenuating circumstances happen, but then I am the one who's responsible and I felt bad for people. And so I'd give them excuses and I would like pick up the slack and I would do other people's jobs for them. And then I realized like, that's not a way I can grow and be a leader. Like I can't just do like, other people's jobs, they need to be held accountable. So I would say I wish I had let people go sooner rather than later. And that's, I think, a really hard part about running the company is just 
having that realization that a lot of people in this world don't have high expectations from themselves. They think it's okay to miss work, they think it's okay to be late, they think it's okay to not do things at 100%. Um, they think it's okay to, you know, I, I think I was just very trusting of people and now everything is monitored, recorded, and I also have people checking those things at all times. So, you know, like you have to track every single metric and you have to check little things. And it's just an example, like I gave credit card access to a few people and you just realize, oh, there's these transactions on here that you don't recognize. And like, I don't know, it's kind of like, you trust them with giving them money to buy certain things for work, but then when they buy certain things at like a waxing salon, I don't know, it, I don't know, it's just, you know, you just realize like you really need strict protocols because I think a lot of things in life, you need enforcement for them. And I think I was just like way too trusting. Okay, what is your favorite part about running Banish? Um, my favorite part about running Banish is control, the creativity control aspect of it. Like literally the world is my oyster. I've always been a visionary. I've always been somebody who when I close my eyes, I can taste, I can see, I can, I know exactly what it's gonna look like and what it's gonna be like. And what I love about it is I can do that with, with my business. I don't have to like play any politics or bureaucraticness or whatever. I can take my two hands and my computer and make it happen. So that's what I love about running the business. Like nobody says no to you really. I mean, like you can make anything happen. What is the vision for Banish? Well, I told you we're working on something that we've been working on for almost three years, two, two three years on, and I'm so excited for that to come out. Um, people have been asking, are we planning to go into retail stores? And I'm not gonna say no forever. We have gotten inquiries from some of the top, you know, chains out there. But honestly, you guys, our products are made fresh. We ship them Monday through Saturday. We offer free shipping. So to me, it doesn't make sense to mark up the products twice as much. So when you sell retail to wholesale, it's about 50%. So that means our products have to be two times more expensive for us to make the same margin to pay for all of our expenses. So it just doesn't really make sense to go into retail. You're getting the lowest possible price from us. Maybe in the future, maybe if we can figure out our distribution, and if we can further, you know, do have some manufacturing and negotiating power. But right now, it's not something we can do at the moment. And also, you guys, our products are made and shipped fresh Monday through Saturday. So a lot of people in the winter, they have complaints about the elixir freezing or the bottle breaking and shattering. We don't get too many of those inquiries, but we always get a handful every year. And it's just so great that People email our customer service team saying, hey, my bottle like broke or like the little lid of it broke. And t it could be like a quality control thing, but it's not. It's literally because our elixir is made fresh. We don't use any chemicals or don't use any kind of antifreeze in our products. So when we're shipping them to Canada or shipping them somewhere cold, of course it's gonna freeze in the plane. And it just means that our products are fresh and we don't add anything to artificially extend the life of the product. And so a lot of products that are currently manufactured, a lot of skincare products that are currently manufactured, they use propylene glycol, which helps prevent the freezing, or they add certain preservatives or certain chemicals to prevent the product from going back. But also really the vision is we have a very select number of products that we produce for you guys. I wanna be a huge skincare line with a set number of products and you go to Banish for these set reasons and for these set products. So we're not gonna sell everything to everyone. We're not gonna come out with makeup that has never been on my radar. I think there are a lot of other brands that could do makeup better than we could ever do. Right now, we're not gonna come out with sunscreen. That might be something in the future, but right now, I haven't personally figured out a way to make effective sunscreen with quality ingredients and with um, organic ingredients. I always feel like it's never like the way I would like it. So we're just not gonna go down that avenue right now. We're gonna focus on what we're really, really great at is the Banish kit, the Banish system, microneedling, and really working with making that product the best that it can be and always iterating on that product because I really believe in the power of microneedling. Like you guys, like I, I've tried everything for my skin. Microneedling is the only thing that has worked for my skin. 
And I'm not saying that because this is banished. It was even in the beginning before I even knew what my kneeling was. It works for my skin. It works for my skin type. I have skin that's very much prone to scarring. Every pimple that I have, it leaves a mark. And microneedling is the only thing that has shown me, like has proven to me, that it will actually lighten the scar. Nothing else will do that. Not even the CO2 laser I did. The CO2 laser I did just ruined my skin. Microneedling is the only thing that works. So I really wanna focus on that and I want microneedling to be something that everybody uses, that is part of their skincare routine because I so believe in the power of it. It works, you guys, it really works. And I wanna focus on that. I don't wanna focus on UV light therapy because that stuff doesn't work for me, right? I don't wanna focus on those like electrocurrent, like roller things, because that doesn't work for me. Microneedling works for me. Vitamin C works for me. Azorbic acid works for me. So that's what we're gonna stick to. Ultimately, to creating that um, brand to source quality ingredients to to control every single aspect of the manufacturing process. I remember like Zara, the reason why they're so successful is because they control the actual making of the clothing. They don't outsource the, the making of the clothing to other companies. So when they see a design, they can make it in house and then start selling it in like a week or two, like super, super fast, which means like you always get new styles from Zara. So I always want everything controlled under one umbrella at Vanish. We can keep the integrity of the products intact. Um, and just the way we do things intact. But my further vision for that is just really making Banish like like almost like the Soul Cycle of skincare. You guys like know Soul Cycle? I love Soul Cycle. I Soul Cycle, Lululemon, like of skincare, like that empowering brand where it's like, hey, like we are only gonna sell you products that are gonna help your skin. We're not gonna sell products that are gonna mask problems in your skin. We're gonna sell products with only the highest ingredients in your skin and, and really educate you on how to use the products and like what is best for your skin. But we're also gonna tell you that you are just enough the way you are. You are worth belonging to. You don't have to look like everybody else. You can banish whatever it is that you're trying to fight for in your life and we are behind you every single step of the way. That's always been the mission of Banish. You can see in our marketing and in our branding and all that, we never put people who are Photoshopped. We always show acne on our Instagram. Like that is stuff that like we love talking about. We're not trying to hide anything. We don't want to be perfect and I would just love Banish to be a movement. I want to have like, people support, you know like on Lululemon they have those bags with like all those phrases, like I want I want that, I want Banish to be a symbol of that. I want um, people using our product being like, yes, I got this, I can do whatever it is I wanna conquer in my life because it's never about the way you look, it's about like from the Amy Schumer movie, I feel pretty if you guys seen it, it's always about how you feel about yourself that matters. It's not about the way you look and so if we can make a product that helps you feel better about yourself, Let's go, let's go for it. Let's shoot for the moon, right? Wait, shoot for the stars? Shoot for the moon? No, if you shoot for the moon, you land upon the stars. I keep forgetting which way it goes. Um, so that's the mission for Banished, and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for it because I can just see crystal clearly like what that looks like, and it hasn't been done before. It hasn't been done for before, and why can't we do it? Why can't we do it? We can do it. I know we can, we can do it because we've already done everything here. So I'm so excited, and I just wanna tell you guys, thank you so much for supporting me and watching me on this channel and understanding kind of my absence and understanding stuff because the road has not been easy. I have undergone a lot, but I feel like I have developed so much as a leader, as a communicator, as a business owner, and I'm just so excited to grow and expand, like expand the business. So thank you all so much for watching. I really love doing these videos. Uh, let me know what you want me to talk about again. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna be here more often because that was one of the goals I set for the company. I was like, I'm gonna make more YouTube videos. And because <laughs> I've always said that and they're like, okay, okay, whatever. But I'm actually gonna do it because I said it to everybody on the team. So they're gonna, they're gonna hold me accountable. So thank you guys so much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.